Hello and welcome to Guidestock Global. My name is John Howell and I am the editor and with me today I have Bashak Yildiz Orkun who is a lawyer practicing in Bodrum in Turkey. Bashak, thank you for being here and thank you for agreeing to discuss this really quite complicated task of how you deal with the effects of accidents here in mm -hmm. Turkey. Yeah. I should explain that this is a video which is about a subject we've also covered in a written guide and that written guide is available at www.guides.global so uh, for extra information please do have a look at that. So Basha, we all know that in every country accidents happen, people get injured and every country has ways of dealing with that so that people can get compensation and they Correct. can be looked after whilst they're disabled and so on. Correct. So what I'd like to do is just go through some of the basics about accidents in Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have an, a number of separate guides about how you deal with an accident on defective premises, an accident you have on the street uh, or in a, on a motor vehicle, uh, and uh, we recommend people to see those as well for the accident they're particularly interested in. But in this guide, we're trying to cover the absolute basics of how you deal with an accident of whatever type. Okay. So, starting then um, at the beginning, do people in Turkey tend to have insurance against accidents? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, we, we could say that there are like different types of insurances covering different types of accidents. I mean, if you have a car accident, there will be a car insurance which is including the accident uh, compensations and some uh, like a monetary uh, outcomes. Um, if you are running a business, business um, you usually uh, insure your uh, place of work uh, for the accidents of the third parties, like a third party liability insurance. Um, if you have a condominium, you usually um, insure the common facilities um, for the accidents of the, either the uh, homeowners or the guests. Yes, so there are different types of insurances, but normally we, uh, we also, the, just the accident insurance is, exists in Turkey. You can just get it, uh, accident uh, insurance, but usually we uh, combine this with some other uh, insurance policies. So you say you can do this. Yeah. Um, is it obligatory to have car insurance? Is it obligatory to have insurance as a business owner against the risks? No, it is not obligatory. Uh, however, uh, not, e not even car insurance. The, the car, yeah, oh, I was yeah, just sorry. going to make oh, yeah. a point ah. on that. The car insurance. There are two type of insurance. <laughs> the I would say the first one is the uh, compulsory, uh, like uh, insurance, uh, which is like a, we call it like a government insurance, and you have to have that one, which is covering the other parties all damages. But on the other hand, you can have your private insurance, uh, which is also covering your damages, even if you are in yes. failure and stuff. Um, so, uh, but for the business places, um, it is not uh, compulsory. Only if you are using a mortgage or finance to just uh, uh, own your premise, uh, the banks are making you uh, like uh, obliged to have the policies okay. in place. The second very basic point is: Can a foreigner claim? for the effects of an accident in Turkey? Are they treated differently from a Turkish person or exactly the same? Uh, it's going to be the, exactly the same, only the, uh, the administrative uh, proceedings <coughs> might be a little bit different. Okay. Yeah. Now, again, remembering this is in general terms about accidents rather than any particular type of accident, uh, are there basic rules about what gives rise to liability? So. If someone suffers an accident and they're injured, um, on what basis do you claim against the person who caused the injury? If they are in failure, uh, obviously, if the uh, the damage caused by a third party is like a fault or uh, action or anything, then you can't claim. Uh, and is this an obligation that arises under the law of obligations? Or? Under the law of obligation. It is in terms, actually, when we look at the accident, there are two type of liabilities, which is the first one is born from the code of obligations, the compensation. 
uh, the litigation part. The second part will be the criminal part because if it is damaging the, uh, the body or the psychology or if it's a crime uh, which damage like it caused the accident, accident. If you are in purpose uh, while doing the accident, of course there will be criminal um, like a, a sentence as well. So you can end up with two different court cases going on. Mm -hmm. One a criminal case to punish the person who caused Correct. the accident and the other one a civil case to claim compensation for the losses you've suffered. Exactly. Yes. And, and that's true, doesn't matter which type of accident it is, basically that's true of all cases. Yeah, but some accidents like a, um, is not really holding any criminal offence. So yes. uh, not all of them will be end up like a, with yes. a criminal yes. sentence against other parties. Yes, some, some accidents some, are just accidents. Just accidents, They're things exactly. That happen. exactly. Yeah, but for compensation part, if a third party caused the damage and if it's like a proven before the course, obviously they will pay the uh, compensation yes. of the damage, loss, together with some uh, like a uh, compensation for your mental um, harassment. Yeah. Yes. And it's probably worth just mentioning here that uh, we'll cover this in a great deal more detail in the video about laws relating to accidents at work. But even if your employer doesn't have insurance against accidents at work, in fact, it's the social security system that makes sure that you get paid um, whilst you're off work sick and... and, and, and yeah, this will kind. cause a huge trouble for the employer if there is no social security that whatever is paid by the social security uh, to the person who had an accident will be reclaimed back from yes. the <laughs> employer. So if he has no insurance, he's in trouble. Yeah. yeah.